your vision, right? Why do we do it? Why do we do the marketing? Why do we do the branding? Why do we engage in social media? This is not my book, but I love this book. Social Media Marketing Superstars. That's what we all are now, okay? We are all marketers today. If you weren't, you are now. Social media has made everybody a marketer. What is, what does that mean? It means that we are trying to get people to increase awareness and drive sales or sell an idea. That's still sales. Whether you're selling the idea, selling the book, selling the business, selling the service, selling the coaching thing, you are trying to do that. So the main thing, I always, everybody remember like in school when we had to learn about marketing and they talked about the ADA, the awareness, interest, desire, and action. Remember that ADA thing? That principle still is in effect. Awareness, meaning that you got to get people to know about you. Bob is real good about doing the awareness thing with the videos. Remember, he was a big Bob that sell. Now he's a big Ray. That's getting people to just, you know, out of all the stuff on our social media. So, oh my God, it's Somerset, it's Somerset. I got to treat this. I got to Facebook. I got to do this. And then this little bit of video. Say, hey, what's that? That's kind of funny. Yeah. I watched that for about no more than two minutes. But, <laughs> you know, so that's the kind of thing with social media. You've got to engage people because you can have a great message and you know people that are really really have great messages but they're born as I'll get out I mean you listen to me when I fall out the window okay so so you don't want you're not engaging you can have great information I, this is no knock but I went to a seminar not too long ago and it was talking about cancer mm -hmm. and really that's a very important subject mm -hmm. you know I'm, I'm you know breast cancer awareness month mm -hmm. pink nice. yeah you know yeah. all that but he was talking about cancer he pulled out this thing and Everybody in the room just was like, oh, my God. It was a doctor. And he was just going over the real logistics of it. And, mm -hmm. and, and then finally he cracked like a little joke. And it woke everybody up. And they're like, yeah. <laughs> 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 like, people that. People that, you know? that so cool. he really got it on a roll. It was like he kind of had to really gauge his audience. So mm -hmm. you do have to engage. That's number one in social media. The main thing, too, is trust. In social media, online stuff, people don't believe. There's too much hype, there's too much, uh, you know, people that can be behind the camera or behind the, the computer screen. You don't know what, you don't know who they are, what they are. You, go, you may not find them. So building trust is really critical. They're, especially if you're going to be doing some business, right? If people are going to press the button to put money in the PayPal. They have to trust you. So the way that you trust people is that they have to believe you and then they, you have to be authentic. You have to be you. You know, that song by Fantasia says, I'm doing me. <laughs> you got to do you. And Russell Simmons wrote a book called Doing You. So being authentic online. So a lot of people say, well, I don't know what to blog about. I don't know what to tweet about. I don't want to just read on Twitter while I'm going to lunch or I'm going to Starbucks or whatever. Mm -hmm. But that's all part of the authenticity, making you real, making you a living person. Now, I personally don't tweet a lot of personal tweet things, mm -hmm. you know, every once in a while. But for the most part, when you follow me on Twitter, Pam Perry, at tw Pam Perry is on Twitter, um, you will find it's just tons of information. It's nothing but information. I'm going to give you information overload, okay? Because <laughs> right. I think that sometimes <laughs> we, don't, we don't do better because we don't know better. You know, because I always say people would do better if they knew better. So I just give you links and things, and you can save it. Every once in a while, I make something, you know, like I may participate in some things that are small, that, you know, my daughter has homecoming or whatever. And then, you know, you'll see people say, or last night I said, congratulations to someone. I was excited because I was uh, officially now a writer for Demand uh, Studios. Um, and it's like a big thing because they blog for USA Today and all that kind of stuff. So I said, yeah, I'm so excited I got, you know, whatever. And people were like, congratulations. Now, that had that really is not a information, okay? Because what, what are you going to do with that information if I got to be a blogger, okay? Because most people tune into what's in it for me. They tune into that station and what's in it for me dot com. So, <laughs> uh, so that's, what, that's all they want to hear. Like, I want you to say how it's going to make me rich, make me beautiful, make uh -huh. me special, make me, right, me, me, me. Much. You know, that's just the way it is online. So you, you balance the social media, Facebook statuses. Uh, a real good person that does a real good job with statuses, I think, is uh, Gail Perry Mason. And she is a brain. She's smart. She's the vice president of a... Um, of a, uh, what do you call it, uh, investment financial. firm, financial firm. But every once in a while, you know that she, that's what she does, and she has a couple of books or whatever, Girl, Make Your Money Grow, and all this kind of stuff. 
because if she's not tweeting about that and she's not doing statuses about that, her her status is typically right now because it's the vein that she in is either about her family, her boys, or her weight loss journey. And she's lost like over 50 pounds so far this mm -hmm. year. And so, you know, she put up a new, uh, what do you call it, uh, profile picture. She'll get like 60 comments. <laughs> you know, I'm like, wow, go Gail, you know, this and that. It's like, what, 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 I tell me all the time, I say, you're like a rock star, man. They are just following this weight loss journey, like, you know, like whatever. But that's, and, but she has other good information. So you can click and it's like, well, who's this Gail Perry Mason? So then you click on it and you find your books and well, all that kind of thing. So that gives her trust, belief. Um, people really understand who she is, and then eventually what you want people to do is what? Buy. Purchase. You know, and that's really, really important. That's the team. So that they can keep come, keep doing what you love to do. Um, so, how do you get started with limited technical skills and minimal PR experience? And, uh, you know, really th this, this whole thing is that kids today were born with uh, cell phones, you know, <laughs> you know, they know how to work. By the time me and Aubrey, my daughter, can have a phone and leave the store, and by the time we get home, five minute ride home, she's figured out, she done changed her uh, background on her phone, <laughs> loaded her contacts, put in, you know, sent out a tweet or whatever, and then when I get home, I'm like, okay, where's the manual? Let me figure out how to turn it on. Uh, how, where's, the, where's the ringer? You know, and it's just different because they're intuitive with that. So we have limited technical skills, but especially if we're over 40. Anybody over 40 over here? Mm -hmm. over 40. Over 40 crowd. But we can get this. Who's <laughs> over 50? No, I'm not going to go there. Oh, no, I'm over here. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 I just say over 40 would be nice, and sometimes it's a little bit older. But the whole point of it is that we can do this because we, we learn by either two ways, by reading, by having someone teach us. Okay, so you can read it. Obviously, there are tons of books. You can scour Borders, Barnes & Noble, and read. Okay, and that's how I really learn. So, but then there's some people that need someone to show them. What's the best place for someone to show you how to do something online? Where's the site that you go? how to to see something. Where do you go to look at something? Google. Google, right? You look at it and then you look at videos. Right, video. There is a million videos YouTube on how to there, so there's a video on how to load a video on YouTube. Yeah. Yes. It's a video for everything. It's a video for everything. Right. So if you are really stuck, you go to YouTube and you search YouTube is owned by Google. Obviously Google owns the world, but you actually go to YouTube and you search for how to make a unique URL on Facebook, mm -hmm. and it'll be a video for that. Mm -hmm. Or you can just go to Google and you'll find maybe some articles and that sort of thing. That's how you really learn this stuff. You're not going to naturally know this. Um, I didn't wake up knowing this. I'm 50 years old. I didn't wake up knowing how to work Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and SlideShare mm -hmm. and work in the phone. You're going to have to indulge and just go into it mm -hmm. because we are marketers. We are now marketers. We are the brand. We are our own brand. So a lot of people say, well, I'm shy and this and that, and I really don't want to put myself out there. You're not putting yourself out there. You are a brand. Mm -hmm. And the only way you can get brand recognition is to put yourself in front of the audience that you know that would appreciate what you have. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. so you're sharing information. You're giving service. You're giving value. Anybody see that movie called Seven and a Half Pounds? Yes. Yeah. And it's about about value, yes. you know. And it was the whole thing of what value are you bringing? Mm -hmm. That movie was so deep, oh. wasn't it? Really, really deep. But you you want to make sure that you're bringing value. Mm -hmm. So when you're bringing value, you know you have stuff to share. You know the stuff is good. If it's going to be mm -hmm. on maybe a renal disorder and, mm -hmm. and hair care or whatever it is, you're going to share it because that's unique to you. That's right. your brand. Mm -hmm. So typically, you, that's what you want to do. So you should never feel shy mm -hmm. about. You know, really sharing information. Now, I will say this in social media: you can't be a hard sell. You can't be a hard sell uh, saying, "Buy my book." Every tweet, buy my book. Buy <laughs> my book. Digitalmarketingsisters.com. Buy my book. And it's just kind of like at a certain point, you get all these unfollows, unfollows, unfollows. Like this is all this girl was doing. So you want to make sure that you you do that within. Um, giving a lot of information. It's almost like with anything. The social networking is, is relationship building. Mm -hmm. So with anything, if I do a favor for you and mm -hmm. I, you know, say you needed a ride to work and I give you a ride to work every single day to work, okay, mm -hmm. and back. 
and then maybe on Friday when I pick you up and say, hey, can you do my hair? Mm -hmm. Of course you're going to say yeah. yeah. Okay, oh, for you free. Give me a ride every day. day. Yeah. You know, it's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, that's just like right. the simple reciprocal. Yes. Right. We're talking about that on the same occasion. Right. Life is reciprocity. I can say it. I don't know if I can spell it. I'm going to spell it. Sit down. So you want to do that. So what I'll do typically is that I'll give out a lot of free information. 95% of the information I give out on Facebook and Twitter, on my blogs, in my slide share, on the blog talk, is free. 95%. Then there's 5% I'll say, here's a CD. Mm -hmm. It's $20. Here's a seminar. It's $20. Here's a boot camp. It's, you know, a, a lot more than that. <laughs> <laughs> Check the website. <laughs> But basically, for for people will then respond to that mm -hmm. because they know you, mm -hmm. they like you, and they're trusting you now. Mm -hmm. So now you can actually say to them, okay, I'll look at your stuff. It must be pretty good because if your free stuff is good, then your paid stuff must really be awesome. Right. That's really the mentality in okay. social media. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times people in social That's media, good. a lot of mm -hmm. social media are like, well, I'm just going to, I don't have a lot of followers and this and that. Well... The whole thing is about reciprocity. The more people that you comment on on blogs, the more that you actually share, continue just to share because it, it's almost like it hits a critical mass at a certain point in time. It's like I'm doing this blog over and over and over again, over and over. No one's commenting. No one's following me. But you have to be consistent. Be consistent. I don't know how long it's going to take. You may have to retweak it. It may be 30 days. It may be 60 days. It may be 90 days. But you keep at it because at a certain point it will come a critical mass. And then all of a sudden, boom, you'll start getting people that will recognize you. Because there's some people that go in and go out of it that people just want to see if you're going to be around. Right quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, it's like you set up a Facebook fan page, and then, you know, you start some updates, and yeah. then, you, then you leave it alone. It's like, well, he won series. Mm -hmm. Or then you start such and such and such, and then you do a blog talk show, and, and then you do, like, three shows, and then you don't get a lot of listeners, and then you